Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And this will make it into the end zone. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by the former Mississippi State product, the mobile quarterback, Dak Prescott. One thing he does very well, he takes care of the football. Had 176 pass attempts to start his career without an interception. That's the most in NFL history. And finished his rookie year, 23 touchdown passes and only four interceptions. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now Prescott connects here with the tight end, Blake Jarwin. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. 16 yards. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott from the gun. Throwing right, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Griffin's got it. Middle of the field. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And this crowd loves it as their guys hold on the opening drive. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in 2019 from Ohio State. It's Dwayne Haskins. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Antonio Gibson, incomplete. It's now second and ten. Second and ten. Here's Haskins again. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Third down. Here's Haskins. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. 
42 yard that was a really nice interception I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone when you're in man all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you but when you're in zone you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball that's exactly what happened on that play second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42 now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it. Most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down, Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Chase Tackle made by Chase Young. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. Athletes looking to throw on second down. Prescott. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll contain him to just four, second down. At the four-yard line. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Dustin Following the touchdown, Hopkins. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. First carry now. This is Williams. And he'll get this one up to the 26. The ball carrier. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The pick up a three. Brings Off the draw. Here's Williams. At the 26-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. That's a gain of six. Brings up third. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Jamal Williams, the ball. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. 
Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. This is taken at the 18. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They start on the ground with Elliott. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. by A three-yard gain on the play. On third down, it's Prescott. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, it's Haskins. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At the 49-yard line. They go play action now. Haskins. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up Haskins going to throw again. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now Haskins on first down. Now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Another Washington first down. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Now Williams. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second and six. Williams. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Brings up third and one. Williams. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with
with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. This a chip shot, a 20 yarder. The kick by Gold is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Washington three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to unlock yeah. the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A seven-yard gain on the play. Prescott from the gun on third. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. Prescott's pass. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. I think defensively you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second and 13. Prescott got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 44-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. 10th carry now for Elliott. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 11 now. 56 to Mark, 56. Check 56. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Prescott. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. First down line at the 34 here on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Forced out to his left. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Offense. Unbelievable. 
So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it for a down. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Upway 7, Washington 3. Jamal Williams making his way back onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And this is caught at the eight. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. By Neville Gallimore. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And Washington has taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the 1. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cowboys take over first and 10. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And as we look at his highlights, you know, sometimes I've asked you schematically, how do you stop one player? Well, how do you stop a tight end like this without opening up other holes, Parker? You show your basic defenses, whether you're playing the three-deep zone, the two-deep zone, but you have your variations underneath it. So sometimes what you, instead of the safety staying deep, the safety will drop down. A sky coverage, they call that. Sometimes the corner's responsible. You get a little, what they call a cloud, someone coming underneath. Sometimes the linebacker shows the ability to rush the passer and instead drops down and tries to get underneath the tight end as he tries to run routes. So many different things you can do from basic sets. Trying to prevent those highlights we saw. Prescott's call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, 
No yardage. Okay. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. That good. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. A first down throw for Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Cooper's got it. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Complete to able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things are pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 20-yard line. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And that will knot us up at 10. Plays the game at 10. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Carter, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? At their own 24-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Jamal Williams. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, Williams. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a bandit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine. They'll run it with Williams. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Washington on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. So much of the game today. We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 40-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Brings up second and eight. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hitting the yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And that'll be off the crossbar and out. It's short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. All tied up at 10, two minutes left in the first half. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. The 20, 10. 
ahead. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it, not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski was an interception. For different, teams. different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a too many syllables. You want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Take it in at the three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. On first and 10, Prescott. This to Jarwin. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To the air again, Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Elliott. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Prescott on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They'll throw again. Prescott. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now we've got whistles, and the man slow to get up here is the quarterback, Allen. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. A big play, if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Prescott yet again. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy Justin touch it. Hopkins Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Takes this about five yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At 
their own 20. Well, look at Washington as they come onto the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens. On first and 10, it's Haskins. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. And the big boy, dare I say, he showed some athleticism there. Oh, without a doubt. And you know what else we saw on that play? Why they do more and more ball drills in practice. They want everyone proficient with catching the football and being comfortable. Because you never know when a big play like this will happen for a big man. Now, post-game locker room, does he get an extra drumstick? He was going to get that anyway. He may get the whole spread now. Yeah, put some gravy on there. <laughs> and he's able to put it through. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. They're on 23-yard line. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. But once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again. Haskins. They'll find Everett there. Complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And it's the Dolphins who are out in front in the second quarter. Kendrick Bourne, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to MetLife Stadium to check on the Jets. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Kareem Hutt taking over. Two touchdowns thus far. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Houston Texans. Zach Pascal, a touchdown reception. In the game you're watching, you've seen a strong first half out of Dak Prescott. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. A two-yard pickup brings up third. Here's Haskins out of the gun. 
He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. A 45-yard punt for there on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They go to Elliott again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Ezekiel Elliott. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and... They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game-changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receipt. Touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper, 38 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. 17. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Washington offense set to take over. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. 
sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Brings up second and one at the 34-yard line. Now Haskins. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. On third and one, it's Haskins. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. now Haskins on first down now left he's got it to Everett Haskins has five yards on the catch there brings up second down it's a gain of five brings up second and five on the ground this is Williams and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 42 they get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue First and 10 at the 40. On first down, it's Haskins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's second down and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's third and third down. Here's Haskins. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Neville Gallimore with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what did they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, so much for being backed up against their goal line to start the drive. He gave some breathing room and then some. I think the defense really got caught thinking safety, trying to stack the line of scrimmage. And oftentimes, if you can get past the initial grouping, there's a lot of room to run. The defense actually fortunate that didn't go farther. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Throwing. Prescott. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Prescott to throw it. Going underneath, complete to Jarwin. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. First down, Dallas. 
from the shotgun. It's Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott able to hit his target Lamb. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 22-yard line. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way and is much more successful as well. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Again, it's Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A fumble on the play. He has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And the Washington offense set to take over again. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense review. right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's got, got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Now Elliott. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And the ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with now three week one touchdowns. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Dustin Hopkins. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. From the gun, it's Haskins. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. 
They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Thirty-eight yard line, second and eleven. They run it again with Williams. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. It's a gain of four. Makes it third. Here's Haskins to throw. He'll drop this down to Williams. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Haskins to throw it. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Second and eight at the Cowboys' 42-yard line. Now it's Haskins. Strong grabs it over the middle. That catch good for five. It's third down. To number 82. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Fourth and one. Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. A give the first man through, Gillespie of the fullback. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. Fighting through pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And on after the sack, he's still down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Haskins looking middle and that's complete. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Brings up third down. Now Haskins, third and long. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Pass. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. And this is incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 41-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Elliott. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. That's a gain of four. Brings Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Complete. It's a pickup of six. Did you see that route the way that I did? I thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Elliott, he'll get about four here. Down to the 43-yard line. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. This is Elliott. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Prescott with the give to Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Brings up third down. Prescott from the gun. This to Jarwin. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's Washington that scoops it out. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. They begin the drive with Williams. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Jamal Williams, the ball carrier. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and they're going to have a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Haskins out of the gun, and he'll complete this to Gibson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. 
So a gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. On first and 10, it's Haskins. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line, Christian Wilkins just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there don't need it all back at once but you figure they're going to need something here 17 yards to go on second down another try after the first down sack Haskins, man open left side, it's Williams. Haskins pass. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Haskins will throw. Over the middle complete, that's Carter. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Throw right side complete to Carter. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and ten. Here's Haskins again. He'll find Everett there, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The second down completion got them seven. Now here's third and three. Third and throwing again. Here's Haskins. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Well, they were two for three on fourth down tries. Now they're unsuccessful. That brings them down to 50%. But that's a percentage you have to feel pretty good about. You know, two for four, I mean, two for three before that, but finally get stopped again. That's okay. That's the type of team that will keep pressing. In this situation, they'll continue to go for it. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. 
And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 46-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Ezekiel Elliott, the Cowboy ball here. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On third down, it's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ramsey. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the Cowboys, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Washington,